We're here with Gran back for another video. Long time ago, or I guess last summer, we made a video called our DIY leaf bird bath, and it's become our most popular video, interesting enough. And uh, we promised also that we would show how to paint these elephant ears. Um, you can go back to that video to see how we actually make them. Um, but we want to keep our promise and show y'all how we actually paint them. Yes. So last summer when Reed was over in Northeast Georgia at my house, we uh, did a number of elephant ear leaf bird baths, but this is the one that we showed in the video. And we want to be honest and just kind of show where we made some errors. And I guess when you're trying to focus on filming and uh, that video was the first video I had ever participated in, so I was a little excited and nervous. But we do want to show where we um, made some mistakes uh, with this particular leaf. And so I'll just turn it over to Reed and chime in. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, this leaf doesn't look great. I think the camera made it look better when we first made it, but this is definitely not our best work that we've done. No. Um, and it's mainly because of the edges. You can see that the actual leaf stops way before the actual edge is. But when we were making this leaf, I think our concrete mixture was a little bit too wet. It was. And it ended up seeping over the sides and causing a much, uh, this to go much over and it's just become rough and it just doesn't look very good. I wanted to show those errors so that uh, for those that are just learning and figuring it out on their own that maybe this would be helpful to them. And we tried painting it to cover up our mistakes but it didn't work. <laughs> I dry brushed with the oranges and the green colors just to kind of make it camouflage. But and then I, she kept on going. <laughs> and then I kept on going and but you still when when something really is not done very well that you just can't hide it let's just yeah. be truthful you just can't hide it i'll just put it in the corner of my yeah. yard somewhere reed wants to get rid of it <laughs> <laughs> um that is a much better product that we've done here um you can see it's much more consistent the edges are right at the edge of the leaf this is a much better consistency with the concrete the, again, the only problem is there's an act, there's a hole here, so we're not perfect yet, but we're improving. Okay, so we're inside the barn and we're going to demonstrate what we call the dry brushing technique on one of our concrete elephant ear leaves. And um, this is not one of the leaves that we're selling because it's one of our um, imperfect leaves. Uh, it's still very rough. Um, on the edges from the sand and it's not quite um, what we would use to sell to someone but it is a good way for us just to demonstrate what we're going to be doing. So the first thing that we start with is just uh, dampening the elephant ear leaf with a brush and these brushes are not expensive they're just El Cheapo's we are just using the acrylic paint that we happen to have on hand. And so our next um, layer is the uh, base layer, which will uh, usually should be a darker color. And so now we're going to do that. Yeah, dark, there you go. We made a, <laughs> I thought you were almost gonna pour it. Oh, yeah. thought, oh, we're a little bit tired a little bit. So you can see my little piece of paper here. What we're gonna do is- Just not too much paint on the tip. A and little then, bit of paint. And then we're gonna kind of do a couple swipes on the Yeah, on almost the paper. to where it's, you, there's no more paint left on the brush. And then you just start. And you can kind of go deeper in the middle and then get more airy as you go out. It's just really, you're not slapping the paint on. You're really um, just it's dry brushing. So just very little paint on the edge of your brush and then take it back off <laughs> mm. and then just move your brush back and forth and it doesn't have to be perfect. So now we rinse the brushes. Get them dried off. Get this. And we wait for this base layer to dry. Okay, so now we're ready to put on the second layer, which uh, we just made a lighter green color. And if you get your primary colors and 
you just start to experiment and add white and black and you just come up with the colors that you want to use so that's kind of fun and we don't pretend to be professional artists <laughs> yard artists in any way shape or form but we just are learning and so we're passing it along because we promised that so here we go with the second coat again just dry brushing just a very little on the edge of your paintbrush and then taking that off and then just lightly back and forth. That looks pretty cool. Yep, yeah, just lightly. Dry brushing means your brush is almost dry when you put that paint on. Okay, so we're not gonna, we're just demonstrating and so you can kind of see how it'll turn it. It's, we've got it on one of these little round things, so I hope that comes through on the camera. Yeah, I think Where it you is. can see some of the concrete even maybe coming through and then some of that first color that we put on there. Just turn yep. it so you get a different view. Dry brushing is the way to go. And you can do as many layers as you want. I mean, on the first one that we showed in the intro, granted probably 10 layers oh, at least yeah. on that thing. But you know, I think there's a point where too much is- Too much. Too much. <laughs> um, but you know, like three layers is probably a good good number. You know, you could you do your base as a dark and then your next one as something like this, kind of a medium darkness. And then your last layer could be, I don't know, something bright, like a yellow or something. Yeah, you just have to play with it and have fun. Yep. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully this helped you. Also, here is our garbage bird bath that's gonna get thrown away here in a sec. But I wanted to show you the difference between dry brushing. You can see it actually gives it depth. You can see the veins good. And then what just slapping paint on will do. It just, you're not gonna get the layering effect and it covers up those veins. It is all dry now and we did spray it with an acrylic sealer gloss finish. Um, this is just to make sure that it will be safe out in the weather and the rain won't wash off the paint. So this is a key step to do and it also gives it a little bit of a shine.